Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Windsor Medals. Thanks so much for tuning in to this video. I hope you're all okay. So today I thought I'd do a video on the correct order of wear for British medals. It's a video that I've been wanting to do for a long time. The reason why I've been wanting to do it is because I've had a lot of people ask me over the years different questions and specific questions on how to uh, get the, the order correct in the different categories and also it's a really good idea for dress regulations uh, so the medals get mounted in the correct order for parade and even parades where veterans are wearing medals uh, in on like for Armistice Day and things like that and DIY medal mounters it will just help get the medals in the correct order so the best bit of advice I can give you is to get a gazette printed off this is a, a London gazette this is um, a public platform for public records uh, data and details from this record is from the office of the Central Chancery, which is uh, the highest authority for British medals, rules and regulations. And it basically lists all the different categories of the British medals and it lists the medals all in the correct order. So this is how you print the Gazette off. Okay, so I just wanted to show you how to get the Gazette up so you can print it off. So you've got your own copy. So if you go into Google and if you type in Gazette medal order of wear, click into it, and then click into the link. And then that will bring the Gazette up for you at the right place. If you scroll down, just above the list of medals here, it says order of wear. So if you click into that, then it will bring the document up. So then it will allow you to print it. So if you just scroll forward, then you've got the list of medals here in the correct order. They're meant to be worn in. So you can just keep clicking forward and get in all the different categories. For example there there's the jubilee coronations and we've got the long service medals here so that's just quickly showing you how to get the gazette up and to print it okay right so the correct order of wear so we always always start with the vc the victoria cross and the george cross now they're the most senior medals in any British medal group. After these two medals, then it's the Order of the Knighthoods. And these orders are basically medals that go round your neck with um, they're suspended with a chain or ribbon. And then there's a real lovely brooch badge that would go on the uniform. So Here's some in this medal yearbook. So we're just going to look at the orders of knighthood quickly from this um, medal yearbook 2022, just to give you some idea of the orders of knighthood. Just get to the front of that section. Oh, here it is. So that's the first order in the book which is the Order of the Garter. So this medal here is suspended around the neck with a chain and this brooch badge is put on the uniform. I'll just show you a few more orders. So there's two more. This one's the Order of the Thistle and this one's the Order of St. Patrick. Same detail with these orders. The metal part suspended around the neck with a chain and then there's a lovely brooch badge that goes on the uniform on the chest. So there's lots and lots of these orders. As you can see, 
just give you some idea of the orders category. There's a few orders that can be worn with the medals and these are the OBE and the MBE and the BEM. Although the orders, they can still be worn um, in a medal group and they would come in front of the next category which is the Decorations, Gallantry and Distinguished Conduct Medals. Coincidentally, if you are wearing miniature medals, then the Orders of Knighthood can be actually worn in medal form with the rest of your medals. So basically, some of the orders is like you've seen in the book there, the Order of the Garter, Order of the Thistle, Order of St. Patrick, so after the order of knighthoods, okay, we're gonna go on with the next category now, which is decorations, gallantry, and distinguished conduct medals. So these medals are awarded for acts of heroism and bravery in the field. There's a strict order of wear for these medals. So I've got four of them here to show you. So. The first medal is the Conspicuous Gallantry Cross. Then we've got the Distinguished Service Cross. Then we've got the Military Cross, the MC, and we've got the Gallantry Medal here on the end. And that's the correct order in seniority. And if you just have a look at the Gazette now. Yeah, so you can see here in the Gazette for decorations, Medals for Gallantry and Distinguished Conduct and it obviously lists them here all in the correct order of wear. You can see that they're in the order in that list so if you um, need to find out just refer back to the Gazette. So after that category we have campaign medals next. So we've got some campaign medals here. So campaign medals, it's always the oldest medal is the senior medal. So whatever the oldest campaign you've been on, that is the senior medal. So that's chronological date order basically. So in this instance, if this person had gone to the Falklands before Northern Ireland, then that one would be senior. So for argument's sake, this person went to the Falklands, then the Northern Ireland, then Gulf War I up Granby, and then the most recent campaign this person went on was um, Optelic I um, in Iraq, so that's the junior one. So bas basically that is how you work it out. So I get a lot of people asking me, I've got a UN medal, or I've got a NATO medal. I don't know which one goes first, the Northern Ireland medal or the UN medal. So basically quite a few people have thought because the medal's a silver medal, it's got the Queen's head on, that would be senior to a UN medal or a NATO medal, whether they'd gone there first or not. So the basic rules is, is all campaign medals are all equal. That means the UN medals, the NATO medals, the general service medals, the operational service medals, they're all equal. The only thing that makes them different is chronological date order. So if this person had gone on a UN tour first, that would be senior medal irrelevant of what's on the medals and then the rest of the campaigns follow on in chronological date order so after the campaign medals the the next categories is polar medals and then the imperial service medal police medals for valuable service and then after that, those medals, then the next category is jubilees and coronation medals. 
So that's these medals. So again, if you look in the Gazette, it will show you the correct order of these medals. Yeah, so okay, yeah, this is the category for the Jubilee Coronation medals here. List them all in the order they should be worn. Noticing that the um, silver, golden and diamond Jubilee at the bottom there. And also underneath there for efficiency and long service decorations and medals. And there's quite a comprehensive list of these as you can see here so it's all that page there and then literally all this page here so it's quite complex with the amount of medals in the long service category so it's always very useful to have this gazette as a backup to double check as i've said before it's a hundred percent proof and accurate so basically the older the, the medal um, in this category is the senior one. So in this case, we've got the golden jubilee and we've got the diamond jubilee. So golden jubilee would come first. So after this category, we've got the long service and efficiency decorations and medals. And again, there's a very strict order for these medals. If you just have a look at the Gazette now to, to show you. As you can see from that, list there's a lot of medals on there so one of the ones that gets confused with the long service medals um, is the meritorial service medal so if you've got a meritorial service medal and you've got jubilee medals and long service medals the meritorial service medal will come here basically in between the um the Jubilees and the Long Service. So it's the most senior Long Service medal is the Meritorial Service. And then after that, you've got the Accumulated Campaign Service medal. That's the next senior. Uh, this is the new one, which is 26 months Accumulated Campaign Service. The old one was a 36 months Accumulated Campaign Service. And then the rest of the medals will come um, in a specific order, um, not relevant to chronological date order, and that's all the long service medals, i.e. the Army, Navy, RAF, the VRSM, efficiency awards, police medals, ambulance, special constabulary, etc, etc. There's all a uh, cadet force medal as well. There's quite a strict order of wear for them and you can get those wrong if you're not careful. But like I say, just refer back to the Gazette and then you shouldn't go wrong. So on the end of British medal groups, you can have Commonwealth uh, orders, decorations or medals on there. They'll come after the British medals here. And then right on the end of British medal groups, if you were serving with a specific uh, other nation's army in a campaign and you was authorised to wear that medal, you could wear that medal on the end of the group. I do see some medals, for example, I see the um, American Bronze Star on the end of some groups. So if it's authorised, it can be allowed, but it must be worn on the end of the medal group. So what I'll do now is just make a couple of medal groups up just to give you some idea of putting all that information in order in your mind. So let's get started. So let's say this person's got the VC and he's got the military cross and then he's got the Falklands medal 
Northern Ireland medal, the Gulf medal, Gulf War One medal there. Then we'll give him the Golden Jubilee. We'll give him the Diamond Jubilee. Accumulated campaign service. And then for argument's sake, the Army Long Service and Good Conduct Medal. So we've got the different categories there. So obviously the VC was the first one. Then we've got the decorations next and gallantry medals. Then we've got the campaign medal groups there, the campaign medals. Then after the campaign medals, we have the jubilees and coronation category. And then on the end, we have the long service medals there. And then if there was a foreign award or Commonwealth medal, then that would go on the end. So basically that's the categories and how the rules and regulations are for mountain medals. So it is a strict order of where, and you've just got to make sure you know what you're doing to make sure you get them in the right order. And like I say, the best tip I can give you is go on the internet, get your gazette printed out. And like I say, all the information is there, so you shouldn't go wrong. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I enjoyed explaining a bit about the order of wear for medals. I'm trying to grow my channel. So if you've not subscribed, I'd really appreciate you subscribing. Um, that'd be brilliant. And then we're going to have a lot of content coming. We're going to be doing lots of British military information and tailoring jobs. So thanks again for watching this video and hopefully we will catch you in the next one. Thank you ever so much. Bye.